Did he really flash a gun? Did she nearly throw down with his new flame at a soccer game? Here's the 411 on Tarek and Christina, all of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Christina Hall and Tarek El Moussa met when she was 22 and he was 24, and they were both working at Prudential. Not only were they a match made in house listings heaven, the two were a perfect fit for flipping real estate. El Moussa explained that Flip or Flop became such a success precisely because they were such a great couple. We're able to work together because we're best friends. We love what we do, we love each other. But it wasn't a wild romance from the get-go. El Musa was dating someone else when they met. Still, 14 months later, he and Hall finally got together. She recalled, The day Tarek and I officially started dating, which was October 9, 2006, we moved in together. Hoping to at least make a couple dollars. They got married three years later, started a family, debuted Flipper Flop in 2013, and the couple was off to the races. It was a fan of Flip or Flop who first notified El Musa of a potential health crisis in season two. The star recalled on Chasing the Cure, I'm shooting my show, I'm returning emails and text messages, I'm busy with work. That's when he got the email that changed his life. A nurse identified a nodule on El Musa's throat, which became a stage three thyroid cancer diagnosis. While he also battled testicular cancer that same year, by March 2019, El Musa was cancer-free. He posted to Instagram, This makes me so happy, not for me, but for my babies. I have to be healthy and alive for them. His children are certainly a motivational force for the star. As he told People in 2020, I've never eaten so clean. I've never taken so many vitamins. I've never gotten so much exercise. So I'm just taking care of my health. I want to live. I want to live for my kids. I want to live for my grandkids. You only get one life. You only have one body. Filming a hit show and raising a family ultimately proved to be too much for Hall and El Musa. And as their connection became strained, they tried to mend their marriage through therapy, according to People. I didn't understand you know, it got really blown out of proportion. Despite their efforts, in 2016, a makeup artist witnessed Tarek pulling a gun from a safe and putting it in his backpack. Hall called 911. Neighbors stated that they saw him run away from the home carrying the weapon. No charges were filed. El Musa later explained his side of the story, noting that he has a concealed carry permit and telling Dr. Oz, I can legally carry a firearm. I live in the canyons where there's wildlife and bobcats and mountain lions. And I literally went on a hike. El Musa and Hall split in 2016. El Musa was the one who filed for divorce, but as Hall told People, I think the separation process begins long before people actually separate. So by the time we officially did, I felt like a weight was lifted off me. Still, the duo continued to film Flip or Flop together. They kept things professional and looked to the future. Hall told the outlet, Tarek and I don't discuss each other's personal lives. It is what it is, and we are going through a divorce, and eventually we will be dating other people. I'm happy for him and whatever steps he takes in his life, and I just hope he's happy. Hey. hey how was your date? My date? Yeah. It's good. As fans quickly realized, the two were much better as strictly business partners. Hall explained to Good Housekeeping, we met at work, and we actually probably get along best at work. He handles the business side, whereas I do better with the decorating side. We just have that dynamic together. Hall was the first to move on with someone else. She and TV personality Aunt Anstead announced their relationship in January 2018, according to People. And the couple surprised everyone with a secret wedding in December 2018 at their home in Newport Beach, California. It's been super fun traveling and, and just spending time together. Um, and we're looking forward to welcoming some baby. <laughs> in September 2019, they welcomed their son Hudson. But within a year, they announced their split. In September 2020, Paul posted to Instagram, Ant and I have made the difficult decision to separate. We are grateful for each other and as always, our children will remain our priority. Their divorce was finalized in June 2021 and shortly after, Anstead moved on with actor Renee Zellweger. As of fall 2022, the former couple remain in an ongoing custody battle over their son. After living the bachelor life for a minute, El Musa found love with Selling Sunset star Heather Rae Young. They met in Newport Beach and went public in August 2019 with El Musa posting to Instagram, it's official. After more than three years on my own, I'm so proud to say that this beautiful, sweet, and talented young lady is my girlfriend. I'll be honest and say I never thought I would meet someone special in my life after the last three years. Yay, but I'm also like, <laughs> The happy couple got married in October 2021, with Young explaining to people, we're best friends, we're true soulmates, and our love is so rare and so special. It's the love I've always dreamed of my whole life. 
While the pair had been open about their journey from no more kids to maybe kids to a struggle with fertility treatments, the pair finally announced they were having one of their own, due in early 2023. Of course, there has since been an explosion of celebration about their upcoming bundle of joy all over social media. Starting from scratch, basically. Christina first met Josh Hall in 2021, and it was an instant connection. As she recalled on Instagram in July of that year, I met Josh when I wasn't in a state of fear or fight or flight. When we met this past spring, the synchronicities hit us so hard and fast they were impossible to ignore. I felt immediately crazy protective over him and wanted to keep him for myself and get to know each other before the tornado of media attention hit. Of course, it wasn't long before the press picked up the story, but that didn't ruin the couple's connection. They got engaged in September 2021 and tied the knot seven months later. Unlike her previous weddings, Hall opted for a private ceremony with Josh in April 2022. The two then settled into a jet-set routine with a home in Tennessee as well as a residence in Dana Point, California, but they ultimately returned to good old Newport Beach. As Hall noted on Instagram, it's near school and friends and work. Our new home is our long-term family home. Coming from a restless soul, my soul is ready to rest. Josh appears to have easily adapted to the role of loving, stable stepdad to Hall's three children, and the family can be seen enjoying their new lives together on social media. Blending families, especially the famous ones, can be a tricky situation. And on the Selling Sunset Season 5 reunion, fans noticed a little shade from Young directed at Hall. When host Tan France addressed a fight on the HGTV set between El Musa and Hall, he asked Young, did he really say that you're a hotter, richer version of his ex-wife? <laughs> oh my God. Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Some of the other stars, however, suggested that no one needed to tear Hall down in order to make Young feel validated. When Young was asked by Us Weekly about the co-parenting dynamic, she said, I want the kids to be happy the most. We put everything aside and we focus on the kids. I stay out of their business, and we really focus on the kids' happiness and health at our house. We're not super involved with what happens over at Hall's house." In April 2020, Hall told the outlet that she and Young text about the kids and even share recipes, claiming that everybody is friendly with one another. He lets me parent how I want, and he never micromanages anything. But balancing celebrity life with blended family life isn't always an easy road. In May 2022, Us Weekly reported that Hall and Young got into a heated argument at a kid's soccer game. El Musa pulled Young away, but later he reportedly got into an argument with Josh Hall. Admittedly, it was a stressful time for the family. Son Brayden was in the hospital that same weekend for an emergency appendectomy. He recovered quickly, and thankfully, the parents involved seemed to resolve their issues. All good things must end, and El Musa and Hall announced they were wrapping filming on Flip or Flop in March 2022, according to People. Feeling nostalgic about his professional rise to the top, El Musa posted to Instagram, I can't believe this journey started in May 2010 with a home video and a dream of flipping houses on TV. It's crazy to think 12 years later it's coming to an end. I've spent almost a third of my life committed to this show. It's been an amazing run and there's been ups and downs, but it's mostly been fun. Hall also got a little sentimental on social media, writing, I'm filled with gratitude to have done 10 seasons of a hit show. I remember filming the pilot and thinking, wouldn't this be crazy if this actually made it to network TV? And here we are a decade later. But just because Flip or Flop ended, that doesn't mean that Hall and El Musa are done with reality TV. Christina and Josh announced that they are launching a new show called Christina in the Country, which will feature them expanding their business across the country, especially in Tennessee. As a press release read, now Christina, who always lived an active, outdoor lifestyle in Southern California, will create even more lifelong memories with her three children and husband, Josh Hall, in Tennessee. Meanwhile, El Musa and Heather Ray announced their new reality show, The Flipping El Musas, in June 2022. While love and marriage may be fleeting, if you play your cards right, a career in reality TV lasts forever.